Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. It's a great Wednesday. I am really excited because as I'm filming this episode, um, I am about ready to get my uh, butt into summer. Um, I only have a few more days left to work, and then I'm headed off on a trip. So by the time you see this episode, I will be in my trip probably a week or two into it because I do film ahead of time. Um, in fact, we filmed the entire month of July uh, and last week of June ahead of time because I'll be gone for those four weeks of July. I get back at the end of July and this episode will air before then. I will be in the UK. I'm getting back to Europe. The pandemic's winding down. There's still lots of restrictions, so I will be on quarantine. I'll be getting my nose jab for tests, but I am really excited. I am vaccinated, so hopefully things will change a little bit while I'm there and allow me a little bit more freedom that first 10 days, but I don't know. We'll see, but I'm really excited to get back to uh, the UK. I'll be just kind of uh, northeast of Cambridge for the month. Uh, my grandkids live there, and I'm really excited to see them. I haven't seen them in almost a year, and so I'm super excited, and I hope you are too. It is Wednesday. It's coffee day. I'm always excited about coffee, and we're doing a local blend. So if you like what we're doing and you like all the different things that we got for this uh, the show with alcohols on Mondays, Tuesdays or Thursdays or uh, whiskey or flavored whiskey, and then Fridays or cocktails, and of course Wednesdays uh, coffee. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, hit that little bell so you can actually, I think the bell's on the side, so you can get a, um, a reminder when we drop our videos. So today we are doing the, uh, what's called Genuine Care Coffee from Pinewood Coffee Roasters. Uh, this is a Balconis Select. So this coffee is from Waco, Texas, and Balconis is a really um, famous Texas um, whiskey distillery. They probably are the first uh, craft distillery in America to really hit it big. Uh, they did a, um, a single malt whiskey in the World Whiskey uh, Contest several years ago, uh, probably about 10 years ago, and stunned the world by winning first place. They beat out all of the scotches and European single malts um, and any American single malts that were um, presented and I, I kind of gathered from their history and reading about this competition the world whiskey uh, competition that uh, Americans don't normally win that so this was a really big deal put it them up put them on the map and they ended up becoming um, a really big time and now they have some fabulous uh, whiskeys they really push the envelope on whiskeys so this is their select their distiller select not really sure if they've teamed up with Pinewood to barrel age these beans in whiskey or not, it doesn't really say. Uh, however, it is a uh, good pickup on our part. I don't have much information on this. It is 100% Arabica. This is a 12 ounce that cost me about $15. $15. It's a dark roast, uh, as you can tell, and I ground it myself, this is whole bean, so it's a kind of a, uh, almost a fine grind, an espresso grind, that's how I like my beans. And these are Guatemalan uh, Arabica beans. It's a very dark, earthy aroma to it. So it's, you can tell it's a dark roast, almost, um, too much of a roast, more of a espresso roast. I did have some of this down there in uh, Waco when I picked this up and it was, it was really good. Okay, so you get that dark, earthy, chocolatey tones on the, the aroma. So your mind is automatically, because it's so dark, you're automatically thinking it's gonna be a little bit bitter and it's not. This is very smooth, no bitterness to it, well roasted. You're getting those earthy tones that I talked about, that kind of earthy, musty, coffee-ish uh, tones, but you're getting chocolate on it. 
slight hints of vanilla. And I think they describe what you get here. Uh, they just say smooth, dark chocolate almond. I agree with all of that. I'm not really picking up almond as well because I'm not fine-tuned into the nuttiness, and that's a peanut for whiskeys. Um, I pick up peanut um, on whiskeys, sometimes some other nuts, but almond is not one of the flavor profiles that I pick up a lot. So when do you drink this? This coffee is perfect the way it is. Black, no cream, no sugar. Uh, if you're a cream or sugar person, I'd be very light on it. This is a really nice coffee. Uh, definitely a morning coffee. It is a dark roast. Um, if you're an evening person, or your morning is an evening, of course, you can have it then. But if you're an evening person, I would limit yourself to just one cup. Otherwise, you might stay up a while. And that's case what you want, I don't know. But it's a great way to start your morning. If you've had genuine care from Pinewood Coffee Roasters in, Bell, in uh, Waco, Texas, let us know what are your thoughts on it. Uh, what do you think about, oh, I got an ant here. What do you think about um, barrel aging whiskey uh, or coffee beans and whiskey barrels? That would be a great idea because I don't think this is it. I'm not picking up any whiskey notes, especially Balconis. They're pretty easy to um, pick up their notes because they're very flavorful. Uh, any thoughts on that? Make sure you tell us in the comments below what coffees you want us to do next. Um, we do have a limited number left. I just updated the um, listing and the scheduling of all of our uh, episodes and we are have a definite end in September, I think. No, 1st of October. So it is mid-June. We have July, September, and October. Um, we only do these once a week, so we're coming to an end uh, unless you think we should pick up more coffee. Um, you seem to like these episodes, so just make sure you leave a comment, keep it going, and let us know. I am going to Europe, so you know I'll be picking up some more espresso and European coffee. I think what we got left is a lot of Turkish and Ethiopian coffee that uh, we picked up, so um, let us know. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all of our merchandise. And I hope you have a fabulous Wednesday. I hope it's a cool Wednesday for you. We're in the middle of a kind of a heating up right now. Um, people are worried about this heat wave. It's Texas. We call it summer, but we'll see. Um, and when you watch this, I'll be in Europe. Uh, send me a little note in a... Uh, message on uh, YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter, and tell me what I need to be picking up there and bringing home or doing episodes. I'll be doing some episodes over there so I don't have to bring stuff home, um, and I'll be leaving it at my kid's house. So just tell me what I need to do, and have a great Wednesday. We'll see you next Wednesday, but make sure you pick up tomorrow for whiskey. Bye.